Wayne here with Tri County Locksmith Service doing a review on the Stanley Professional Power Station. Um, basically, what this is is it's a jump starting kit. It's uh, like a smaller motorcycle ATV size battery, deep cycle battery down in here, um, and then it's a power inverter uh, jump starter kit. It's got the jumper cables right here. They both attach right there to keep them away from each other. Uh, it's got a flashlight. It's got uh, air, and it does a couple other things too. Um, it's got an area light, uh, USB port. Uh, it's got a 12 volt hookup right here, and the power inlet here. Um, I've had this for probably about eight months now, and I use it pretty often. Um, it's nice to be able to take tools out uh, have power out on the job even though I have a power inverter in the van sometimes I have to get to an area where I still don't have power I'd have to run a really really long extension cord to so it's nice to have this out there to be able to run some tools um, and the first thing that I want to say is that as far as the battery and the jump starting aspect of it which is really the main reason I bought it and the reason most people buy this stuff that's worked out well. Um, it's all the extra fancy stuff that they put on there that's kind of a joke. Um, this one, the air to air up your tires is in here. The very first time I tried to use it, it broke. Um, the, I put it on there and the whole plastic head just snapped off. So, uh, while the compressor probably still does work, um, I can't get air into anything. So, that was not exactly impressive, but that's not why I bought it anyways. Um, the inflator does still work. Um, you got a button here that'll show you how much battery power you have. Um, right after it charges, it'll say high, and then a day later it'll go down just a little bit. If you want to keep one of these and use it and rely on it, you're going to want to top it off every 30 to 60 days. You're going to want to bring it in, let it charge up, even if you haven't used it, just to make sure it's full, you know, especially in the winter time, sometime like that when you're going to count on this, um, it does need a little bit of maintenance on it. Uh, the area light does work right there, you can see. And this button here is for the USB port. All these have buttons, so you never leave anything on. If you leave that on, eventually it's going to drain the battery down. I haven't used either one of these yet. Uh, they do work, um, but once again, that's the extra stuff. That's not really why I bought it. I bought it for the power inverter part over here to run tools and to jumpstart customers or um, myself if I if I needed it, and I have, um, and it's it's worked out really good. So the first thing here is this is where you plug it in to an extension cord and. That quit as well. Um, charged it up about three times. And there's a power inverter in here that converts the AC power that you plug into your extension cord into charging the battery, which is DC power. That wasn't that big a deal to me. I was kind of disappointed in that because it's a whole lot easier to charge it that way. Um, but it's not the end of the world. The, the thing is still good. Basically what I do now is I'll just take a regular battery charger, I'll hook it up to these two connectors, obviously positive to positive, negative to negative, and then you just turn it on and it will, you can charge it the same way you're going to get power out of it. I'm just charging it with a 12 volt system instead of a 110 system. It's the same thing, accomplishes the same goal, always charge it on a low 2 amp trickle charge. Um, this button here is for your jumper cables. So you take them off, you get them hooked up, get everything situated the way you want it, and then you kick it over to on so you don't shock yourself, arc anything, damage somebody's vehicle, something like that. So um, this thing's really in the halfway. It's in the middle of the road. They could have done a lot of stuff better. If they add this stuff, I'd like to see it work longer. Um, but for the sole purpose that I bought it for, it's doing okay. Um, and it's holding its own. So I'm going to do a little demo here. Um, basically to use a power inverter, uh, let's use 110 tools, 900 
uh, 900 watts, I think is what it was rated for. Um, <clears throat> what I'm really concerned about is the amps. Basically, uh, you know, it's going to run the tools, but it's going to run the tools under a load. Uh, a lot of these, you know, you'll see commercials or videos for, it'll say it runs the tools, but then you put it under a load and it stops. So what I'm going to do here is do this and drill right here. Show that it is drilling a hole through pretty thick steel. So even under a load, it's still working pretty well. Um, this is a grinder. This is this drill here was eight amps, and that's eight legitimate amps. Um, this grinder is probably about nine or ten. Uh, your DeWalt grinders and your higher end grinders are probably going to be about twelve or thirteen. That's going to be about the limit on these. So you can see once you put it under load. It cut out, it quit, it didn't want to do that anymore. So now you got to reset. So you turn that off, unplug everything. That's the difference between running tools and running them under a load. As soon as I put this high, high amperage grinder under a load, it's not going to run it. However, it did run the drill. So right about eight amps is about what you're going to be able to run with this. Um, you could not put quite so much a load on that tool and operate it. Uh, but it's not going to operate at maximum capacity. So, you know, all in all, it gets about a five. Uh, it does its job. Some things are not quite as uh, nice on here, and the extra stuff that they added just didn't stand up. But the soul, the heart and soul of it, the battery part, um, is still good. So, it's uh, it's worth having. I have seen some other videos, or I mean, some reviews online, uh, just typed out uh, blog reviews that said this thing wouldn't run a coffee pot, it wouldn't charge a phone. I don't think so. Um, if it's gonna run my eight at Milwaukee drill, it's gonna run a coffee pot for sure, no problem, no questions asked. Uh, they probably just didn't have it charged up enough. Um, if you're gonna take it camping or take it out anywhere, you're gonna rely on it, just charge it up the night before. Uh, and if that uh, AC power outlet doesn't charge anymore, just charge it with your regular battery charger and you'll be able to use it. So for about a hundred, 120 bucks at uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, hardware store, uh, it's a fairly decent product. For more information, go to www.tricountylocksmithservice.com. Thank you.